I caught up with Katie right before she rocked the stage at the Capitol Theater Saturday night. Undoubtedly, she says her life has totally changed since her big win. It's been an adventure Katie shared with fans right here in the Ohio Valley who have supported her long before the nation watched this small town girl sing her way to the top. All right, let's get a nice warm welcome home for Katie O. Since August 8th, my life has totally changed. She's the small town girl with a big voice, catapulted into the spotlight after belting out a couple of country tunes in front of millions of viewers, taking home a million dollars on NBC's inaugural show, The Winner Is. And despite the instantaneous fame, Katie O is still much the same as she's always been, grateful. And I'm so, so thankful to be here. Katie returned home November 16th to perform at the legendary Capitol Theater in Wheeling, her first show since her big win. Katie wowed the nearly sold out crowd opening for national recording artist Craig Morgan. But don't ask this 23 year old if it's been a long road just yet. She says her wild ride is only beginning. So some people probably are like, you're a young buck. You know, I can't look at it like, oh, it's been a long road so far because I do know that I have a long way to go and I have a lot of improvements to make on myself. I like to think that this is the height of where I've been so far, but I do have a, a long way to go up the, the mountain to success. But it seems she's already climbed a few steps on that mountain of success, well on her way in Nashville, the capital of country music. All the while happy to take her traveling cowgirl boots back home to the Ohio Valley. And one thing's for certain, the Ohio Valley claims Katie. I cannot think of a better place to have grown up than the Ohio Valley, truthfully. I mean, this is this is my number one spot, and I can always come back here and know that I'm going to have support like what's out there right now. And of course, I just had to ask where she sees herself in the next few years. She says her ultimate goals are to just be able to support herself, to travel, be on the road, and deliver her music to fans night after night. For many, she's still the sweet hometown girl many have always just known as Katie. In a News 9 special assignment, I'm Kate Davison.